Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Point Leader 75. Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, set up Arma 3 to run with Oculus Rift CV1. Uh, it is up to date. It is uh, October 7th, uh, 2016. So it's pretty up to date. Um, I'm going to put all the links down below in the description uh, to all the programs I'm going to refer to in this video. And... Uh, starting off with how to set up Arma at first. So when you want to make sure that you have battle eye disabled, not always going to be an issue, but uh, for the most part, I usually leave it off. Then you want to head into Arma. And I'm running it in a uh, full screen windowed uh, so that you guys can see what I am up to. Just going to make sure that that I got it in full screen windowed and apparently not so there we go how do I? I don't know oh there we go so what you want to do anyway sorry for that guys I thought I had it set up what you want to make sure uh, disregard these settings uh, whatever works for your system optimized is what works to you uh, but what you, what you want to do is make sure you have um, uh, your resolution at um, my recommendation would be 920, 1920 uh, by 1080p and uh, obviously you want to have full screen and uh, that's it for the resolution and you make sure that uh, your game runs nice and smooth and then in the layout make sure you switch to custom and then you drag all the UI or interface here to, towards the middle so that they can all be seen when you start using your Oculus Rift. You can start moving them around later with the Oculus Rift. But make sure you have them drawn towards the middle. So that's pretty much it in terms of prep preparing Arma 3 anyway. And uh, that's it for Arma. And then you're, um, you want to have this software. Uh, Arma 3 Fob Changer. But we're going to... And, and that's... that's um, so you, regardless, you want to make sure you download all the software that I put in the description there. And yeah, it's in Swedish, I know, guys. And then you guys want to have something called uh, the lib of OBR wrapper. And those are going to be three files. Uh, one is the auto installer sort of thing, but I usually do it manually. As you see, uh, there's one for 32-bit and there's one for 64-bit. And the thing is that you put the 64-bit one in uh, in your C drive or where, where you have your Windows. And 64-bit is usually uh, in Windows 10, uh, the folder called System. And System32 obviously is a 32-bit one. What you want to do for this is that you put the 64-bit, you copy it over to the 32-bit. And the 32-bit one, you copy it over to the 64-bit one. So you see here, I already put mine in here. So the 32-bit in the 64-bit folder and the 64-bit file in the system32 folder. So that's pretty much it for libobv, ob, libobr. 64, yeah, yeah, that's how you install that anyway. And then you have um, this software, which is Open Track, uh, allow you to uh, use head movement in armor. Uh, and you want to make sure that you have uh, Oculus Rift Runtime 0.8.0 HMD. Once you select that, hit your hammer, make sure everything looks like this. Then for output, put uh, free track 2.0, enhanced. Once you have that selected, click the hammer, make sure you have the one at the bottom here, use track IR, hide free track selected. That's pretty much it for that. Option wise, uh, make sure you have some uh, center map button. So that you can recenter your view. Camera-wise, I should look like this. 
output wise I uh, did check on these ones but uh, you can try without it I don't know uh, if it works or not I, that's just what I did in here you just hit the plus and you can add a profile and then make sure you select default any and then uh, you can look for the game and then hit OK mapping should look like this 0 to 180 on the yaw pitch 0 to 180 on the roll 0 to 1 0 to, 0 to 60 and these ones you just leave the way they are and that's pretty much it and then uh, this one should be blank that's it and that's pretty much it make sure that you minimize uh, this thing uh, once you started it because you want to have it running in the background and then you just hit start once it's done that is but we're not through yet then you also want to have the uh, warpex installed it's a uh, small amount or small fee for that or cost for the software but it's well worth it once you have that software up and running you want to go to configure and uh, in general setup you make sure you have ocular rift or a vibe for that matter i don't know you guys gonna have to figure that out for the vibe but it supports the vibe as well enable head tracking enable head tracking roll they all need to be checked and then uh, make sure you have it should look like this anyway uh, game optimized uh, there are there is a profile here uh, what i do is that i use uh, the other one, the uh, Arma 3.5 changer, so I'm going to make it like so. And then I'm just going to apply and close. There we go. And then you, when you have everything like that, uh, you want to make sure that um, you close uh, Arma. And then you go to uh, the fob changer. And that's a pretty interesting software. So you select uh, your Arma profile. You see uh, this computer or the computer documents, uh, Arma 3 other profiles that you have any, uh, otherwise it's Arma 3. And then uh, whatever username you have, and then you pick your username, uh, dot Arma 3 profile. And that's the one you want to select. And then uh, this is where you put in uh, your fav. And having filled in uh, the figures and I'm running it uh, 960 by 1080 and the uh, ratio would be 8 by 9 and then my fob would be 110 and then uh, I just hit change fob and that's pretty much it and then I can close this software and then uh, once everything is done you have Warpix running make sure you have Warpix running and you hit start minimize and then you can just uh, launch Arma 3. And that's pretty much it. And last thing, uh, again, make sure you have Battle Eye disabled. And then you just go ahead and play. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, you can put them in the comments below. I will make sure to answer you as quickly as possible. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. It would help a lot as I'm trying to help, as I'm trying to get, grow my channel, that is. <laughs> and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.